everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Deftactica and the Ionic Academy. In this quick win, we will take a look at how to update our Ionic native from, let's say, version 2 something to version 3. Because um, Ionic native changed while before everything was just in this one package. And there are no sub packages with all the other plugins. So your bundle size will be a lot smaller if you use uh, the new way. So first of all, uh, we go ahead and install the core package, which is needed to install all the other things. Um, if you're starting a new Ionic 3 app, um, this package will already be installed. So uh, in that case, you don't have to uh, install those. Uh, as well, you might want to install the uh, Ionic native splash screen because uh, the usage changed as well and also the stages bar um, so let's see uh, okay so inside our package json we now have those three entries and we can remove the old ionic native import from here also let's say we have inside our application um, the text-to-speech plugin use. Okay, this could be camera. This could be whatever you think about. Um, packages like these are now also. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, inside Ionic Native, and they are in their own sub package. So make sure to install the packages you need. You have to look through your app. Um, of course, previously you only had Ionic Native here, and now you need to install all of them uh, one by one. And hopefully our file is updated sometime. Uh, let's close it, don't save, and reopen. And now we see we got the core package, we got those two, and we got our text-to-speech plugin. Um, adding a Cordova plugin is still needed, like Cordova, uh, yeah, Ionic plugin, add Cordova plugin, text to speech. So this is the same like before. But now let's go and move on to our app module because now we need to import um, the status bar and also the uh, splash screen. Where is it? Yes, splash screen. And as we're using the text to speech, we also need uh, text to speech. So we see, no, this is not correct. Uh, maybe the automatic import is not as good as I hoped. Uh, no, it's not inside that package, of course. It's just like splash screen. Um, we have the status bar from Ionic Native. Uh, almost, status bar. And we will have text to speech from Ionic Native text to speech like this. And now we can use them and put them into our providers array. Now it's working again. Um, the Cordova plugins won't work inside the browser. I just keep this open uh, to see if we get any errors. But uh, now we've already changed those three imports inside our app module and we can go to the app components because this is the place where we most of the time uh, have the status bar and the splash screen used right here so we can go ahead and update our constructor to look like this now we're injecting the status bar and splash screen here and now we need to use of course those versions of the words right here and as well, we need to remove this import, which now becomes the same like here. So you can copy that and paste it here. And now your app component is also fixed. Okay, so this was updating the status bar splash screen. Now let's take a look at how to update our plugin actually. So it's not text to speech like this anymore. But now we import it from add Ionic Native text to speech. And we're not using it like this anymore. But just like before, we're injecting it inside our constructor 
So let's call it TTS of the type text to speech. And we change this to be this.tts. And if you use it, you already see that you now get the options of the text to speech um, uh, package, speak and stop. So now our uh, text to speech plugin is updated to Ionic Native 3. Uh, also, our status bar and splash screen is updated and we have removed all references to Ionic Native 2. So if you want to update your other plugins and apps, just follow this uh, scheme. So install the sub package of Ionic Native. You can find this in the documentation, what's the correct name. Then you go ahead and go to your app module and add it to your providers array, just like I did here. And then whenever you use it, you import it from the sub package you inject it inside your constructor and then you can use it with this dot your variable and you're good to go to use Ionic Native 3. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, for more Ionic videos and quick wins. And also, if you like to check out the Ionic Academy for courses, projects and the great community to learn Ionic in a friendly place. So stay tuned and see you next time.